Hi, everybody. So here we are continuing to deburr and clean off all the skins. And that's pretty much the only thing I have to say, because this video is nothing but deburring holes and filing skins. I thought about just compressing these periods of extreme, long, you know, deburring sessions into shorter sections. I mean, this is a four-minute video, which represents almost, you know, a little bit over an hour and a half of actual cleaning of parts, but... The, the whole point of this series is that I wanted to have a log that showed that I did every single thing and it and do it in a way that it wasn't going to be you know 50 bazillion hours long but at the same time still were able to get a rough idea of what I was doing you know this is this is I, I speed all my videos up times 20 20 times speed that's all I do I just I take the videos off the camera I group them in uh, my software to do it. I get roughly two hours of video at a time. That compresses down to about five minutes. Then I save the file. I hook up a microphone. I tell you what's going on. I shove it on the YouTube. I give it a name. And that's it. Every once in a while, if something's very special, then I'll take the time. Like, you know, if you need to see how I'm drilling a hole or how I was flush riveting the trailing edge of the rudder, then I'll actually spend some time and do something important because those steps aren't just, you know, you, you debird one hold, you debird a bazillion. I gotta stop using the word bazillion. It sounds like Brazilian. But for me, this is the most effective way of getting across exactly what I'm doing. Plus, remember... Oh, here's my wife. Uh, remember that this is really mostly for the FAA and my own records. Anyone that can, uh, that can glean some information from these videos, then more power to them. And so I was blessed with my wife's uh, attendance that day. She wanted to come by and see what was going on. I think I, I don't know if I put her to work or not. She's so proud, though. She's like, oh, my God, they're starting to look like airplane parts. Well, what did you think? What the hell did you think I was doing out here? <laughs> so, you know, the speed deburring tool is nice, but it starts to get to your wrist after about a thousand holes. Um, what I'm actually looking what, what I'm actually looking for is some kind of drill attachment that you can dial in the number of turns you want before it would just stop. Kind of like with a pour spout for a bottle, you know, it stops after an ounce, ounce and a half of booze. I need some kind of drill attachment that will just automatically stop after a specific number of turns, one to three turns. That way I can just stick the drill in the hole, hit the trigger, it stops after a turn, and then I can move to the next one. I don't know what that would be called. It might be called a drill stop. I guess I should actually. Uh, am, uh, I guess I should Google the damn thing and see if it exists. Stop talking to people and keep working. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, on to the next.